Hello, Namaskar, Vanakkam. My name is T.S. Sudhir and you're watching this brand new first episode of the Career Top series here on Study with Sudhir. As we had said, this is a series that's going to be very important for you irrespective of whether you are in class 8, 9, 10, 11 or 12 because sabhi ke liye kuch na kuch hoga. We will be bringing to you videos that will be relevant to you at this point in time because whatever decision you take now about what you're going to do next is definitely going to have a bearing on your immediate future as well as possibly your long-term future. What subjects you choose to study, what board you choose to go to, what exams you choose to take, all this will be very important. And our endeavor right now here, Hamari Koshish Yeregi, that we are able to guide you properly, advise you well, counsel you well, so that you take the right decision. Galtia naho, because kai bari galtia ho jati hai, and you kind of regret it later. So our in our endeavor is to get you the right information, which we have collected from various sources, spoken to experts. Sometimes we will get experts to answer your questions directly so that you get unfiltered, real, authentic, reliable and trustworthy information. SWS stands for trust. OK, so in today's video, we are going to focus on if you choose to take science, what should be your options? What should be your entire approach? OK, so if you like this video, share it with friends and like minded people like you. So let me get straight away into the presentation. OK, so the episode today is should I opt for science in class 11? And if yes, should I choose CBSE, ISC or any of the state boards? I will be doing a separate video for commerce and humanities students. So just wait for a day or two. That video will be coming up next. So the answer to the first question that you see out here is pretty simple. My advice to you would be do not do what your best friend does. Your best friend may have totally different aptitude from yours. So you decide based on what your personality is what your heart and mind says what your parents advise you to so that's what you need to do don't do it just because your mother's friend's son or daughter or your neighbor's son or daughter is doing something else okay uh, or don't even go by what your parents did you know your father may say Maine to science kiya tha. it does not mean that you also need to do the same okay follow your heart I know my neighbor, uh, I mean, he was elder to me, he was older than me by at least four years, I think, four to five years. Uh, he was a product of IIT Madras, but his son has followed economics. So it just doesn't mean that you need to follow the same thing. Okay, your decision should be based on your interest, your temperament and what your goals are. Okay, uh, the second part of the question, this one is the more tricky one whether I should choose CBSE, ISE or any of the state board. So in this video, I will be talking about the various pros and cons and you can decide based on facts. It will be a case of Sidi Bath, absolutely no bakwas. Okay, we will be sticking to that. So Dil Mange SWS. Shubharam karte hain. What are the points to uh, remember? The first point is that this five letter word NCRT. NCRT books are what are followed in the CBSE. Okay, so in CBSE, it is the NCRT which is uh, followed. So if you are a CBSE student, you automatically study the NCRT book. Whereas if you are a state board or an ISC student, you will have to study this NCRT textbook in addition to what your ISC or state board textbooks are. And these NCRT books for, are followed for both in a, in NEET definitely and to a large extent even JEE. Now the second point which many students consider, in fact one of my students was also asking me yesterday morning, CBSE has only one English paper. It's a combined paper. In fact, there is no grammar in English uh, in class 12. 11 may thode extent tak hai, but 12th mein nahi hai. Grammar. There are writing skills. Whereas ISC has an English language paper and an English literature paper. So if your English is not really your strong subject, 
maybe isc is not for you having said that it's not as though cbse english is a walk in the park aisa bilkul nahi hai don't think cbse english is easy cbse english has some of the very complex poems as part of their syllabus like robert frost etc okay so that is something which you need to consider so you know you will have to spend more time on english at least in the last one month compared to cbse if you are taking isc now every year over 1 lakh students exit icsc i'll give you the statistics there are over 2 lakh students who take the class 10 examination in icsc but there are less than 1 lakh students in class 11 in isc iska matlab over 1 lakh students when they move from icsc to isc over 1 lakh students move out they move to either cbsc or different state boards okay so that is a serious statistic that you need to bear in mind i'm not saying that do whatever 1 lakh ja rahe hain to main bhi nikal jata hu lekin 1 lakh thehte bhi hain okay so you need to kind of consider that bit of data as well now cbsc has one more advantage the cuet which many of you will be considering taking okay usme bhi ncert ko hi ek tarah se liya jata hai you know it is like the textbook on which many of the questions are formed so again the same funda if you are in isc or state board you will need to read the ncert book material again but let me tell you the negatives also aisa nahi hai ki cbse mein sab advanced then there will be no other board existing right there are disadvantages also uh ISC does more in depth study so if you are preparing for neat or je the advantage with isc is that it is far more in depth because you also read many more books it's far more in depth and that will help you while preparing even for neat okay so this is something which is much more of in depth so don't write off isc the other point which i just now mentioned cbsc english is definitely not easier So in some points one paper not two papers those kind of things are there there's no grammar per se no phrasal verbs transformation of sentences etc so to that extent there is an advantage but in terms of literature cbsc english is as complicated and complex as isc english yes shakespeare is not there shakespeare uncle aapko cbsc mein tang nahi karenge third one the other thing is that if you are opting for a dummy cbsc school which many people do that many students do that where you don't attend classes through the year and only look at the book one month before the examination in fact many of my students did that uh, this year and the advantage they had was that you know they had all my material so it was very easy for them to kind of do it and do very well in the examination that may not be the case all the time let me also tell you we are discontinuing our regular courses from this year i'm not doing any full year courses because it's just too much of stress and strain on me uh but all those videos uh i mean i don't have the notes uh, no question and answers all those videos are going to be put are already being put on our second channel which is cbsc visudhi so all those students of class 10 who are going to class 11 or those who have gone from 11th to 12th subscribe to this channel if you want all the explanation videos done in english for 11th and 12th so that you will find it very easy it's very comprehensive videos these are videos which are part of our courses so you will find them very comprehensive ek bari pad lo you sun lo you will find it very easy to tackle any poem or any story or any essay okay so this is something which you need to subscribe to thereafter we'll be doing class 10 etc also now uh, the other option for you is to opt for the state board many students do that now many coaching institutes have a tie up with the local state board okay every i mean almost every coaching institute the big ones i'm not going to name any one all of them have a tie up with the local state board so that is something which you can do and state board examinations are comparatively easier when compared to the cbsc or isc however the format is very different so you need to you know you need some adjustment to the kind of questions that are asked in let's say the telangana board or the maharashtra board or the karnataka board or the bengal board whichever uh, state you live in the other point that you need to bear in mind is that the life in a coaching institute is very different many of you are going to join xyz institute right we'll be doing videos on that also 
the life in a coaching institute where you need to be inside a room for eight hours, 10 hours before joining. Don't join just before because your best friend has joined. Go and do a recce, speak to different seniors, but then finally take your call. Whether you have the aptitude to do that for yourself, that's very important. So long hours of study, no extracurricular activities at all, weekly tests, corporal punishment in many institutes. And I can tell you this happens, okay, uh, which is extremely unfortunate. But all that happens, the stress and the strain will be tremendous. So you need to take a call. Ki kya aap definitely need karna chate hai? Kya aap definitely je karna chate hai? So only after that, you need to take that call. Otherwise, go into a regular school. So this, according to me, is the big decision. Even more important than whether to choose a CBSE or an ISC or a state board school. Whether you really want to go into a coaching institute. Take your time. Think about it and only then get into that. Okay, because a typical day starts in the initial months at around 8 o'clock, goes on till about initial days till about 6 o'clock. But as you go closer, it will they will call you for special classes at 6.30 in the morning, again going on till 5.36 in the evening. So you're talking about and then after coming back, you will have assignments, DPPs, you need to catch up. Uh, on your study, you need to revise, you need to be prepared sometimes even for the next day's class. Every Saturday and Monday, you will have an examination. So you need to prepare for that. You cannot have, and in many coaching institutes, they have what is, you know, regularly referred to as a system wherein if you will be in different batches based on your performance in class 10, but suppose three or four consecutive weekly tests, you don't perform well, you will be demoted and pushed down. So you will feel humiliated. And then there will be the pressure that I have to do the test so that I have to go So all that is there. So please bear that in mind. The question is, if CBSE and ISC schools were so good, why there are far more students in the state board? Okay. And uh, these, state, these coaching institutes, what they do is that in the last one month, one and a half months, they prepare you for the final examination for the state board. That's what they do. They give guidebooks and help you pass the examination. Okay. Many students do pretty well because state board, you can manage with that kind of a thing. Okay. The flip side of a normal school is that, you know, you will uh, have, you know, a lot of extracurricular activities, distractions, etc. Now the numbers, Maharashtra mein 14 lakh bachche hai. Uh, Telangana has about 5 lakh. Karnataka has about 6 to 7 lakhs. Andhra has about, again, about 6, 6 and a half lakh rupees. So uh, you need to, this thing that, you know, many people go to this coaching institute and that's why also the numbers are so much more in the state board. Now, the main difference is that many experts believe that CBSC does not adequately prepare you for problem solving. And that's what you need in JEE. When you go into JEE, you need to have a problem solving attitude. So you decide. If you are the kind of person who struggled with physics and mathematics, these two subjects in particular, not chemistry, in physics and mathematics, then you need to think logically whether you really want to go in for trying to get into JEE. Let's be very, very honest with ourselves because right? So you need to take that call, whether you have what is called the problem solving attitude or if you want to try for a seat through the NEET examination, through the NEET. You need to ensure that you have the memory. There you need to take, okay, do I really love biology? Do I really want to spend the next five years of MBBS and another two years of um, um, post-graduation, the entire drill, the internship, everything. So you're talking of at least eight years, definitely, before you become a full-fledged doctor. Uh, whether you have the retention and the quick recall ability, whether you are in love with that profession, that is something very, very important. You need to consider that. So please discuss this with your parents in great detail and only then take a decision. This is an important decision. You cannot take it lightly. Sab log kar rahe hai, bhi chala jata hun, nahi hoga. Ya online mein, uh, cheaply ko course mil to main le leta hun. Aisa nahi hota hai. Even if you are paying just 4,000 rupees, you need to make that count. That's what is important. 
Now, there are many students who try the school plus coaching institute combo pack. This leads to a lot of strain. That is, you go to a regular school, then you attend two, three hours of coaching every day. But then you think about it like this. Someone else in a coaching institute is studying for eight to ten hours every day. You are studying, preparing for JE need only for two to three hours in a day. Match hoga kya? You need to take that call. It's difficult. It's very difficult. And in a regular school, you will have lots of distractions. Annual day, sports day, cultural day, morning assembly, koi guest aya, to unki baat sunna, project work, all that. In a coaching institute, you will not have all those distractions. So you take a call, which one works well for you. Okay. Now, the other things uh, you need to uh, bear in mind is that when you are talking about a CPSC, ISC or state board school, it is finally you who will have to put in that effort. How much of interest, how much of dynamism, how much of energy you have and whether you are able to kind of keep that momentum through the year. The other thing which I'll probably do a video again separately is class 11. Many students think are class 10, I have 97% of Everest par kar liya. and they neglect class 11. If your foundation in class 11, class 10 or 11 may zameen asman ka farak hoga as you will realize. Okay. And you will come back here and tell me the same thing. You will realize that there is a lot of difference. Class 10 was just preparing you for a public examination kind of an atmosphere. Now, what you need to do next is what is important because now you need to say that, okay, I have done class 10, class 11 I cannot ignore because Class 12 may class 11 ka portion will be very important for JE and NEET. So you need to pay full attention in class 11. Matragashti karne ka time bilkul nahi hai. You need to focus on what you need to do ahead. Okay. So I do hope this video, approximately 17 minutes, has been of use to you. Please sit with your parents, as I said, and take that informed decision. Take your time, but ensure that you take the right decision. At least... You should be fully convinced. That's something very important. So all the power to you. Okay, my best wishes and blessings with each one of you. Thank you very much for watching. Tata, bye-bye till the next episode of Career Top here on Study with Sudhi. Tata, bye-bye.